All right. Okay. When you're doing the ground balance, you want to move the unit like this here in order to balance it out. Do not swing the unit like this. Okay? This is not an S. You don't swing it like this. Or if you swing like this, what's going to happen is, is you're not going to be able to get a good ground balance. Keep the unit level. Move the unit back and forth. Okay? If the, this is a very delicate instrument and it will give you precise readings. But if you swing it up and it's going up in the air, that's going to give you false readings because it's not going to properly get ground balance. Okay, so now when we're going to balance again, we're going to go like this and we're going to look for targets. When it fully ground balances out, it'll be complete and then you'll be able to locate objects under the ground. Here in the live sound mode is just the metal detector and so it's going to work. So when you come on a target, okay, you're going to hear it. So on different targets, you're going to hear it coming out. When there is nothing in the ground, it is quiet. So, if you run into nothing, that's exactly what you're going to find. When there's a target, you're going to find it. So, we're all looking for our targets in the, out there. So let's find our targets. When it's there, we're going to see them. Okay, in order to adjust the sensitivity of the live sound, you'll see here there's a meter. When it's on red and set directly in the middle, it's automatic. If you need less sensitivity, you push towards the left side of the middle and you'll see it'll change the sensitivity down so it's less sensitive. The reason you'll use less sensitivity if you're in a highly mineralized soil where it reacts to everything. And if you're in other soils which are very clear, you can increase the sensitivity to the other side to look for more smaller objects. So when it's in the middle and it's red, then it's automatic and it's made for fairly much neutral soil. If you need more, push to the right side. If you need less, go to the left side. But when it's in the middle, you'll see it is the red and then it's automatic. This is its default setting is the red, which says it's on automatic mode. When you're working with the unit, it's very important that you have the right sensitivity set. If you're on a highly mineralized soil, the unit may go off the entire time, which means you'll need to change the, sens the sensitivity. So, here on the screen, you'll be able to change that just by touching to the left or the right of the scale and it'll show you uh, the different sensitivity marks and you can change it. Okay? So that is the basic operation of the live sound which is the metal detector. Okay, when you're doing the scans we do have some electronic interferences like telephones. So if you see a telephone like this and it wants to light up, what you're going to do is just take the phone and you're going to throw it away. So once it's gone, you will have no more electronic interferences. That's okay. It's my boss's phone. I can throw it. All right. The next function I'd like to explain is the function here called 3D scan. It's just to the right of the live sound. You push on the 3D scan and it's going to ask you, would you like to have the live sound with it at the same time? Okay, now, in order to perform the 3D scan, what we're going to do here is I'm going to push here on the 3D scan. It's going to ask me right off the bat, would you like to scan with the activated metal detector? Either yes or no. In this case, I'm going to say yes. When I push here, it's going to say, please select the length of your scan area in meters. Okay, one meter is approximately three feet, a little bit more. So you say, how far am I going to go? If I'm going to go 20 feet, it's going to be basically six and a half meters. So if I'm going to go a little more, I can increase it by five meter increments. So if I wanted to go 30 meters, that's about 100 feet. Or I select here the default value of five, which is about 15 feet. When I'm ready, I push OK. Pushing OK will give me the next screen that says I'd like to do, conduct the ground balance. And in conducting the ground balance, it wants me to pull on the trigger again and to balance it out like I've shown you previously. To connect the ground balance, I'm going to pull the trigger and again I'm going to move the unit back and forth here to do the ground balance. When it has balanced out, then I will begin my scan. I have two methods of doing the scan and basically that is going to be a zigzag mode or a parallel mode. Okay, so now that we've turned on our, our 3D scan mode, We've set it with metal detector on. I'm going to start my scan row. 
My first one is going to go forward, I'll come to the end, I'm going to move to the left, and I'll return. In order to start, right here on the screen it says, press trigger to start scanning. So I'm going to press the trigger and immediately start to move forward. I'm going to move forward to the end of the row, and at that point it'll stop automatically. Once I get there, it comes to a stop. Now I'm going to move to the left of my start point. This unit is calibrated so we can rotate it 180 degrees to do our next row. In order to start the next row, again, I'm going to push the trigger. And once I push the trigger, I'm going to move immediately at the same speed to do the next row. At the end of the row, it's going to come to a stop. And again, my starting point was here. The second row was to the left. My third row, again, is to the left of the start row. Pushing the trigger and starting to walk immediately, I can begin my next scan. And I will do this until my scan is complete. Now, once I've completed my scan, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to push the red X in the corner to stop it. And at that point, it's ready to download to the PC. In order to download to the PC, I'm going to, of course, turn on my Visualizer 3D software and then I'm going to select Memory to PC. This one will transfer the scan data from the control unit to the PC via Bluetooth Wireless. All right. What I'm going to demonstrate now is the parallel mode. In order to run the parallel mode, again I've selected 3D scan. I'm using it with the metal detector and it says here to press the trigger to start scanning. I'm going to press the trigger and as soon as you press the trigger you start to move forward. You go to the end of your scan line. Once the unit stops, then you see it stops. I'm going to return back to the beginning. So once I'm at the beginning of my scan, I'm moving to the left. This way I can get the best possible scan and the best accuracy on the data. To start the next scan, I push the button and again I will go until it stops automatically. Once it stops, to the beginning again. I now move to the left, push the trigger again, and the scan will continue. And I can repeat this process until my entire area is finished. 